Hello friends, this is Robin Feicht at Stamping Country. Today we're going to make a card that you, you may be familiar with. It's called a bridge card. But the cool part about the bridge card is that it, while it pops up and it's a whole lot of fun, you can also flatten it and put it in an envelope to mail. How sweet is that? So it'll fit in a standard A2 envelope or a medium envelope. Slip it in and you'll be able to mail it. So let's get started on this card. This is a card I'm going to send to my grandkids. You're going to start with a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. It's cut at four and a quarter by eight. And then we're going to need to score both ends. So we'll score at one and a quarter and two and a half. We're going to flip it over and do the other end and we're going to do the same thing. One and a quarter and two and a half. And that's going to be our fold lines. Now because I'm a crafty Nana, I think I want to put some crafty paper on my card. So I'm going to use the Follow Your Art designer paper and I've cut these one and a quarter inches by four and a quarter to fit on both ends. And then we're going to use the Grandma's House stamp set to stamp our images. So we're going to stamp Grandma's House, of course, with a little heart on it, and that's sweet. And then we're going to stamp part of this verse, and I'm going to show you how to do that with a marker. So let's ink up Grandma's house first. We're going to ink it up and today we're going to color with watercolor pencils. And I'm choosing my colors. Did you know that each designer paper lists the colors that's in that paper? So I pulled out my water or my watercolor pencils and chose the colors or that match closest to the paper. I did add a green because there's a lot of, there's grass and trees and such. So I'm coloring the, the apples, Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to use basic gray. We'll color the stems of our trees with this. And then we're going to use the Granny Apple Green. And we'll go in and we'll color our leaves for our trees. I love these whimsical trees. And we, we can blend that out. This is a blender pen. It just sort of, and so you don't see all the lines. You can just blend that out. And to clean it off, you're just going to roll it down your paper. And then I'm going to go back with the Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to add a little more color to the little um, pattern there in the tree. We'll do the grass. What should we do next? Okay, so we'll do the door, uh, Pacific Point, and we'll do the bird. We'll make a little blue bird with the Pacific Point. And again, we'll blend it out with the Stampin' Blends. So you don't see all the lines and we'll clean it off on our pad. I'm going to add just a little more depth so we have a shadow. And then we'll have some, I think this is Coastal Cabana. So we'll do the gable and the windows with the Coastal Cabana. Blend those out. And then I'm going to go back and go over those lines to add a little dimension to the gable there. I think that's called a gable. And we'll do our heart with, eh, what is this, flirty flamingo. You can see I didn't clean up my blender well. That's okay, we'll fix it with some more pencil. Okay, we're going to go back with the basic gray. Just hit a couple of these details. I'm not even going to worry about blending that. And then this is Daffodil Delight. 
just going to go in and quickly color. I can see a lot of lines. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can see where you drew with the pencil. So I'll blend that out with the blender pen. And then I'm going to fussy cut this. The next thing we're going to need is our letters because I've chosen to write Nana. And we're going to use some dies called hand lettered prose dies. I really like the size of these dies. I've cut these out with in uh, Coastal Cabana paper. And then the the X's and the O's are Coastal Cabana and Calypso Coral. They match some of the pictures in the designer paper. I'm going to line this up. I can't fit it quite straight across, so I decided to do sort of a little arc with the Nana. And then I'll just adhere this with some glue. Begin stack stacking those in there. And then I put my X's and O's on the band that's going to go across the bottom, which is cut one and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. That's what's going to go across the front. You can make that uh, wider if you want, but that's the size I chose. Now, for that little sentiment, I'm only using part of the stamp, so I'm coloring it with my marker so that I only get part of the stamp. So it says, Nana sure loves you. Then I'm going to use some Cal Calypso Coral ink and we'll stamp those hearts. The first card I did, I tried to stamp these hearts after the card was built. Not a good move. So it's much easier to do it while your card is still flat. We're almost done. So we're going to fold on the score lines. I'm using a bone folder so I get crisp score or crisp folds. Now, for this little piece that goes across the front, again, it's one and a quarter high and five and a half wide. It doesn't matter how high you make it, but the five and a half, if you want it to fit in an envelope, is going to be pretty important. Now, when I fussy cut this Nana's house in the trees, I cut a little too close on one of the trees, but that's okay. We'll just add some glue and, and place it in there. I get a little zealous with my scissors. That's perfectly all right. Now the final part. You're going to put that little band, put some adhesive on each end, and you're going to put that across the front. So line it up with the edge and the other edge, and it's going along the bottom. And you can see you have a 3D card. But the you can see it'll stand up and hopefully people will display it. But you can flatten it. And it's a good idea to swing it back and forth a few times. Sort of loosen up the cardstock so that it'll lay flat in the envelope. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for stopping by. And have a fabulous day.